Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to Restoration From Within. Here we are for Temple Talk Thursdays, every Thursday at 8.35 Eastern Standard Time at nighttime. We have changed the new season, so we have changed our time as well. And I just wanted to welcome you to Temple Talk Thursdays. We come here every Thursday, like I said before, at 8.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we come here to... Um, uh, have special guests to um, enlighten us in our path to our walk, our health journey. Hey, Sonny, how you doing, sis? We also um, we also uh, talk. We have real talk. We have tips. And today, that's what we're going to do. Hey, Edwina, how you doing, sis? Thank you for joining. Hey, Laquisha, how you doing? So today, we're going to talk about all about giving our skin some TLC. Yes, today, our topic is going to be um, five healthy tips on skincare for loving on our giving uh, giving some TLC to our um, skin for the fall. Hey Nikki, how you doing? Um, for the fall and winter season. So before I begin, I want to get my notes ready for you guys. But before I begin, why don't you go ahead and invite some girlfriends to join us and um, also get a notepad, get your health journal and or a notepad and, and a note taker. And take some notes so you can start loving on your skin because it's already the fall season. It might not feel like it, especially in the southeast area. It might not feel like it, but it's it's almost around the corner. And let's get ahead of uh, ahead of the schedule. Hey, Titi Saida, how you doing? Thank you for joining me. So um, without further ado, let me give you some announcements, some awesome announcements. Um, last uh, Saturday, um, those of you who are part of the community, Restoration From Within community, you'll catch the pictures on this upcoming week of the pictures of Victorious U Conference. We had we made some great connections and it was amazing. And so let's talk about this upcoming, not this Saturday coming, but the following Saturday. So the following Saturday, girls, yes, I will be in the Charlotte area again for the Hair 180 and the Tyson Health Fest, Health and Wellness Fest. So I'll be there. I'll be also doing a um, Temple Talk, a juicing demo. And I believe, um, I can't, I don't want to say the right times, but Nikki, if you're on, please um, put the time frame where I'll be in there. And also it'll be in uh, the Tyson store. Um, I'll put the address and the flyer below also in the comment section once we're done. So definitely it is a free event. Please register. We have over 600. Correct me if I'm wrong, Nikki, but we, over ha we have over 600 guests already who have signed up. Last year, over um, 800 or over 800 people showed up. So I'm super excited of what's going to happen this upcoming, this next Saturday coming up. Um, so definitely join me, my Charlotte Chicas and surrounding areas. I will be there this Saturday. I will be teaching at the Trident Tech um, campus here in the North Charleston campus. I'll be sh um, making soaps. We'll be making artisan soaps, handcrafted soaps here. So if you still have time to sign up, just go to the Trident Tech website and you can sign up as well. And then on Sunday, I will be talking with trill ravenel yes trill ravenel with um she's uh part she is the co-owner of detour movement and they are starting their transformation academy so i'll be doing an interview and we'll be talking about um healthy living and also about juicing so definitely those are the three things that we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing hey tony and tiffany how y'all doing I know. I'm so happy that y'all all joining us today. Again, invite a girlfriend. Um, have them take notes because today we're going to talk about, hey, Crystal, how you doing, sis? We're going to talk about giving our skin some TLC from our face, which we have a special guest coming up here soon. And we also will um, talk about um, how to take care of the remainder of our body. So without further ado, I want to over, okay, Nikki said over, yes, over 600 people have registered for the Health and Wellness Fest next um at the i believe it's october the 20th and that'll be um next saturday next saturday so chicas that are in the charleston or surrounding i mean charlotte and surrounding areas register because i also believe that um every um every presentation that you show up they'll be giving out swag bags and also prizes so you have to sign up to get the prizes and they're really good prizes so okay so without further ado i'm going to introduce my sister, Nikki Russian. Yes, Nikki Russian is um, she's a skin. She has a skincare line, and um, because you know, I want to age gracefully and dra and not drastically. If you 
believe in what I'm saying and you feel what I'm saying, hit them thumbs up, right? Um, I want to age gracefully and not drastically. And so she's going to help us with the facial area. And then I'll be talking about some other things that we can do. Five, uh, four other tips that we can do. And she has a uh, natural, uh, she has a skincare line, 180 Essentials. And she also has a hair care line, Hair 180. And today we're going to focus on our skincare. But she's going to talk a little bit more on um, how having a, a skincare regimen and she's also going to uh, present her products as well. And I did do her products. I'll be showcasing her products as she comes off. Hey, Doc Lily, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. All right, so before we begin, let's, um, let me give you the details. Hey, Nakia, how you doing? Let me give you the details again. It is the second annual Charlotte Beauty Wellness Fest. It is going to be on 9011 Street, Tryon Street in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let me see if I can um, pin this. No, it's not allowing me to pin it, y'all. Dag nabbit, but I'm gonna love it. So if y'all see me love it, heart it, that's because I did it. The first 20 attendees at each workshop gets a swag bag. All right, y'all. So come on now, fill up my section, fill up every section. Hey, Sherry, how you doing? All right, so without further ado, let me invite my girl Nikki in so she could talk to us about the importance of having a, a, a facial regimen. All right, hold on one second. All right, uh, Nikki's not allowing me to invite you in. Hey, Latanya, how you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? All right, Nikki's not allowing me to invite you in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna proceed and then um, once I can, I'm able to invite you in, I'm gonna do that, okay? All right, so, um, well, as we waiting for Nikki, let's go ahead and talk about number one. All right, so the number one, I know y'all hear it all the time and you've heard it this entire summer. But it is the truth and it is one of the most important things that we need in our bodies and it's to hydrate. We have to hydrate. A lot of times we tend to forget to hydrate during the winter, the fall and winter season because we think, oh, we're not hot. Hey, you know, I said, mom, how you doing? We don't, we, we think that we're not hot, we're not sweating. So we don't have no key indicators that we're thirsty. But there is such a thing as a, um, what's it called? It's, um, it's, it's called a winter um, dehydration. So we have to keep that up. And why is it so important when we, um, what for the winter season? Because the winter, the, you know, the air is dry. We don't have that, um, as much moisture as we have during the summertime. So definitely hydration is very important. It helps us, um, it helps our skin to maintain um, its youthful glow. It helps us to burn fat. It helps uh, our digestive system. It also, um, like I said, it also prevents winter dehydration. And that's something that we tend to forget. How can you tell that you have winter dehydration? Okay, I'm not trying to make jokes here, but if you kind of ashy, yep, you got winter dehydration. If your skin is flaky, you have winter dehydration. If you tend to have a headache, just um, just as if, if you would have a... Um, get dehydrated during the summertime if you have a headache that's a sign that you are you know dehydrated so we have to make sure make sure that we're hydrating for ourselves within ourselves and also to maintain that youthful glow in our skin to uh, maintain the elastic elasticity and also it protects our immune system um we can go for days without eating but we cannot go um for days without drinking so definitely yeah, definitely, Nikki, I got you. So we can't go without days without drinking. So that's why heat, hydration or drinking water is very important. We should be drinking at least half our body weight. That's the ultimate goal. We should be drinking at least half our body weight daily. Um, the two waters that I highly recommend are um, alkaline water because it keeps your body um, alkalinic. And alkalinic is pretty much is a good um, harboring ground to uh, promote wellness in your body. When, when your body is acidic and how it gets acidic is by eating a lot of salty food, processed foods, um, a lot of sugars, it dehydrates you. Um, it dehydrates you and it also um, promotes a, a harboring ground for sickness. So that's why you would like to, if you want to introduce alkaline water, one of my favorite ones is eternal water. Another water that I would highly recommend is spring water. Spring water is really good because it also has minerals and it's naturally, you know, it's naturally created. So definitely those are the two things that I will highly recommend. Um, I drink as far as spring water, I drink geyser, but there's a lot of other spring waters out there that are good as well. 
So now that we talked about um, making sure that we hydrate it to promote our glowing youthful skin, the next topic that I want to talk about is exfoliate. All right, why do you think we need to exfoliate? Um, the, the reason why we need to exfoliate is um, even when, okay, definitely, I'll do that in a minute. Um, even when we um, um, are taking our, our, we lose a lot of dead skin, right? But it's really good that we exfoliate. But we're going to put a pin on that and we're going to invite our girlfriend and she's going to talk about um, having a natural skin regimen for our face. So without further ado, Nikki Rushing will be joining us here in a moment. Let me get her products ready. All right, they're saying that it's adding her and we'll pin the exfoliation, but we're gonna add her and she's gonna talk about um, anti-aging skin care. Hey, Nikki, how you doing? Sir? Hello, I'm good. I'm so sorry about my challenges. <laughs> oh no, you all right. At least we worked it out, so you're here. So um, I was introducing you to everyone. Um, this is Nikki Rushing. She has a um, anti-aging skincare line and she's going to talk to us a little bit about her products. I started using it today. Wait a minute, where is it? Yeah. So um um Nikki. Oh, I left it, Nikki. I left the um wash because I was washing my face in the bathroom. Um, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and yeah, I got you. There goes my sis. Okay, so um I was just talking about exfoliating, but I was gonna touch on exfoliating the skin, you know, the body. Um, but go ahead, talk to us about um, what are the benefits of exfoliating um, and you have the exfoliating facial cleanser. Why is it so important to exfoliate your skin, um, your face? So it's very important to exfoliate your skin for a multitude of reasons, one of which you want to slough off those dead skin cells, okay? And so when you do that, it actually helps your pores to be clean. It helps to minimize the size of the pores. But not only that, when you slough off those dead skin, scales, dead skin cells, what can happen is if you're using great serums or ingredients or moisturizers, then they're able to work a lot better once you have that done, Okay. But mm -hmm. one thing I want to note about exfoliation is that depending upon the type that you're doing, you only want to do that if it's a manual exfoliation, like with a jojoba bead or something like that. You only want to do that once or twice a week, because if you do it more frequently than that, what can occur is irritation, redness, breakout, inflammation, all those things that you don't want to happen. So be mindful of that. Okay. Okay. No. And I like that you said that because, um, uh, for the, re the remainder of your body, it's good to do it two to three times, but it's not as sensitive as your face. So that's why I'm, I'm assuming, you know, that it's not good for your face to do that because it's such a sensitive area. Am I correct in, in assuming that? No one I'm supposed to be assuming, but... <laughs> right. And so um, you're the body expert on that exfoliation, so I'm a to, you know, yes. default to you, but definitely for the skin, because I've had people to actually do it more frequently than they should. And the same thing happens every time. It's a lot of redness, irritation. It can produce more oil than you would like to. It's just a lot of negatives that can happen when we overdo it. So it's really no need to do that. Okay. All right. So, um, so we talked about the exfoliation and why is it so important? Hey, Terrell, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. We have Nikki rushing here. She's, um, sharing, um, some tips on exfoliation, and she's also sharing her natural, uh, I want to say natural, her anti-aging skin care line, 180 Essentials. So you posted the one that you instructed me to, to use today, and I left it in the bathroom. So talk to us a little bit about the cleanser in itself. Okay, so... And this is for any product that you buy, okay? So I want to make sure when I'm educating someone, I'm not just going to talk about 1A Essential Skin Care, but I want you to be able to make an informed decision when you're in front of a lot of products, which we all face with when we go to convenience, when we go to Walgreens, CVS, or high-end stores, whatever the case may be. So with the hydrating cleanser um, that I formulated, the beauty of it is it's pH balanced. The other thing that you want to make sure is that your products are fragrance-free. Fragrances can be very irritating. So can synthetic dyes. Mm -hmm. So when you're picking out yes. skincare products, you want to make sure that it's free of the sulfates for one. And my skin, my hair, my skincare line is free of sulfates. But because they're very drying to the skin, can be very irritating to the skin. Um, something that I incorporated in the hydrating cleanser are your cucumber extract, chamomile extract, green tea. Those things are great for inflammation of the skin or redness. Very soothing and calming to the skin. The other thing that I love about it is that have you ever used skincare products and after you wash your face, it feels really, really tight? 
you know, that vacuum yes. seal, you know, feeling. Yes. <laughs> so you definitely don't want and products face, like that, whether right. it's number. Yeah, I'm like, what am I Yeah, doing right exactly. Now? Yeah. Like if you smile, it feels like your face is going to crack. It's so tight. <laughs> and we don't want that for our skin. <laughs> so at yes. the end of the day, yes. I make sure not to do that. The hydrating cleanser. It's more of a lotion texture, um, very soothing to the skin, and you can use it year round, so you don't have to worry about, oh, it's wintertime, I'm gonna have to change to something else, or it's summertime, I need to alter it again. Definitely, this is something that could be used year round. And I, you know what, and I really liked it, because when I was trying it, I was um, pleasantly surprised that it does have like a lotion feel. And um, and I'm over here, I've, I could literally hear my mom, she, you know, telling me, always wash up, always wash up. <laughs> You know, yes. like massage my face up. And then I ended up like not just washing my face, but I was washing my neck and this part right here <laughs> and my ears. I was just, you know, I just went happy town. But that was even before, like I did, you know, um, dampen my face. Um, you said with lukewarm water. Um, hey, I see exactly. how you doing? Um, because um, I did, what I, one of the things that I did read is during the winter season, we want to um, use um, warm or uh, or hot water, but that really that dehydrates our skin as well. So that's why I'm. Um, that's why do you. That's why you suggest to use lukewarm water. Exactly. When you use extreme temperatures, like really hot water, and that's something that we want to do because it's cold outside or the temperature's changing and it feels really good. But at the end of the day, what you're doing is drying out your skin. And even for your hair, I know we're not talking about hair, but a real quick tip. Even when you're in the shower and you want to put really hot water on your hair, it is such a bad idea, okay? Mm -hmm. And another thing with hot water, what it can do is it'll fade. If you have color in your hair, it will actually fade your color faster. So you just want to be mindful of that. You don't want to dry your hair out just like you don't want to dry your skin out. So definitely those the extreme temperatures are a no-no, and lukewarm is always the best way to go. Okay, all right. Isaac is saying, I'm just doing, I'm just joining, but what do you recommend for men's skin? Do you recommend the 180 essential for men's skin, which I think you, it's off, it's for all genders, correct, right? It is, absolutely. I was just looking over at my husband because he uses the same line I use, 180 essential skincare. You'd be amazed. If you go through my old feed, he actually exfoliates and everything just like we do. Because for men, it's no different. You guys have skin too, and you need to take care of it. And if you're trying to promote, you know, anti-aging yourself, you've got to exfoliate as well. So all those things that we do is still the same. You know, it's just not gender specific when you're doing healthy skin care. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. And then um, let's talk a little bit about... Um... This is gonna be my new BFF here, right here. When you, when I go through my <laughs> regimen, right here. You see these right here, y'all, ladies, gentlemen, everybody. Not gender spe specific, but this is gonna be my new BFF. So tell me about this, and also we can run on to this one. Where, where is it? Oh, am I okay. doing it? Man. I got it. Yes, yes. The daytime fine line. This right here too, girl. Aging gracefully, not drastically. That's my goal. All right, go ahead. Tell me a little bit more about those two. Okay, so the anti-aging eye reversal gel, that is my desert island product. If anyone asks me what do I need to have in terms of cosmetics if I'm stranded, it's the eye gel. Um, the reason for that is if you go to my website, you will see my before and after pictures. That's why it's my desert island one because it really does help with the dark circles. It also helps with crow's feet um, or if you have any crepiness under your eye, eye puffiness. All those things start to happen like wake up and you're like, oh, what? What just happened? You know what I mean? And so I had that moment when I woke up yes. at 46 and I was like, what is, that? what is this going on right here? My pictures and everything. So at the end of the day, the, the eye reversal gel, what's so great about it is a four peptide complex in there. And so when you're using anti-aging technology, you have to make sure it's at the appropriate concentration. And I did absolutely that. And so not only that, I made sure there's emollients in there um, because under our eyes, they don't produce any oil, believe it or not. And so sometimes the, the craviness mm -hmm. that you see is just because of dry skin. So keep that in mind wow. as well. So that's a beautiful product. Yeah. Yes. yes. And I like how you say that you use quality ingredients because it's so highly concentrated. That's why um, it's so it's small in nature, but it's super powerful. It has a powerful kick to it. So I really appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, and so, okay, let's go to the wrinkle. Come on, let's go to the wrinkle cream. Come on, let's talk about All right. that. What's yes, going on let's with that? Go on. <laughs> yeah, so if you look at that, oh, look, here's my husband exfoliating you all. Real me and exfoliate. <laughs> Real me and exfoliate. <laughs> 
Now you know I'm telling the truth now, right? Got to get you one of yeah, these guys. Yeah, definitely. All the guys that's on you, you got to get you one. Real man, no hair bumps. Oh, Bye. Hair bumps. So it's good for shaving then as well. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Oh, that was like classic. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I love it. So, Kat, the daytime moisturizer, if you take that lid off for me, <laughs> you still laughing. <laughs> no, no, girl. Oh, you know I'm going to crack up about this, right? Remember that Okay, time? so <laughs> there you go, right there. So what you see, this is an airless jar, you all. And so the beauty of it is, is that you cannot get your fingers in it. It cannot oxidize because air is being exposed to it every time you take the lid off. So when you're buying skincare products, you want to get airless jars because, for one, they'll last longer. The potency will be what it should be. Mm -hmm. And you won't get bacteria in there for dipping your fingers in, all right? And so again, this one yes, also has. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like to put my hands in products anyway, to be honest with you. But the beauty of it is, this one has your anti-aging technology. It also has antioxidants. It's going to fight off the free radicals. Okay. It also has emollients. It has plant extracts, and it also has those things that's going to actually smooth the texture of your skin. And so when I formulated, I kept all that in mind because at the end of the day, it's not just one thing that we are under attack. When we go outside, we're exposed to. Um, pollutants in the air, environmental factors. There's so many things that we're exposed to that we may not even think about just by walking outside, okay? Cigarette yes. smoke, um, pesticides, whatever the case may be, we're exposed to it all day, every day, whenever we step out the door. And so when I formulated, I kept all that in mind because the bottom line of it is, is that I want with continued use, you all to see the minimization of your fine lines, your wrinkles, your dark circles, and defy gravity as long as you can. That's one of my top goals here is to defy gravity as long as I can. Yes. Yeah. Listen, you see me, right? <laughs> um, one thing, um, we had, uh, Edwina said, what's your website? What can we see you? I believe it's www.180essentials.com or is it .net, sis? Um, you're absolutely right. www.180essentials.com Okay. I just posted it. So, um, yes, I do, Isaac. It, I just posted it, and let me see if I can pin it. No, it won't allow me to pin it, but it's www.180essentials.com, so you can get um, more details, and you can see the before and after pictures, and also learn more about each and every one of her products. This is um, She does have more in the line that she can share with you, and you can see in the um, in, in her website. So, Nikki, what's what's one takeaway that you want to leave us with before um, we close out with your tip as far as a skincare regimen and what to look for? And thank you so much for sharing your skincare line. You didn't have to do that. And I love the fact that you love to educate that you're from one of your pillars is education before, you know, having um, it's, it's not, you know, the bottom line is the bottom line. But at the first thing you want to have give people knowledge so they can have power to be an informed consumer. So I appreciate that. So what's your one takeaway um, or, or giveaway as far as um, winter and, um, and fall regimen for your skin? So the biggest takeaway, I would say, is consistency. I think sometimes we, we get busy and you say, oh, I'm just going to go to bed with that makeup on or, oh, I'm not going to worry about cleansing the way I should. <laughs> All those things impact the health of your skin, believe it or not. Okay, look, guilty, Kat saying I'm guilty of that. <laughs> But definitely you want consistency. So you want to make sure you're cleansing properly every day. Now, if you notice in the fall and winter months that your skin is a lot drier, then you may want to consider only cleansing once a day. And then, like, if you cleanse before you go to bed at night, in the morning, just use lukewarm warm water on your face, okay? okay? So if you see where it's drying a little more, that's a little tip for you. The other thing, too, is just like I said before, if you're going to pick out skincare products, make sure that they're pH balanced, fragrance-free, sulfate-free, free of harsh alcohols, especially if you have sensitive skin, yes. and then make sure they're pH balanced, okay? Because it's nothing like buying products and then putting them under your bathroom sink because it didn't work right, mm. or they ended up irritating your skin, or you gave yeah. them away. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that you make an informed decision. And I, hopefully I gave you some tips that will help you in terms of being in front of the shelf and a multitude of products and choices. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. And again, join us Nikki and I on next, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday for the Health and Wellness Fest. We, it's going to be amazing. Last year, over 800 people showed up. Trust me when I tell you, 
people, 600, over 600 people already signed up. So please join us. The registration is free. We'll be there from 10 to um, 3 p.m. So join us. Have a good time. And, and, and just thank you so much, Nikki and Tony, too, for his, um, his, uh, his live show up. <laughs> and right. Love it. You got to love live, products. right? Yes. yes. Real men exfoliate. So I love you for that, Tony. Thank you for joining me. And, um, and I look forward to seeing you next Saturday. All right. Bye. Thank you. All right. I love you, sis. Thank you. Love thank me, you. too. All right. I don't know how to. You, you can exit on your end, right? I don't know what to mess with. Go ahead. Let me now see. You what know, I can I'm clueless here. Let's yeah, see. Go Hang on. <laughs> All right. Hold on one second. Oh, there you go. All right. So thank you so much, Nikki, for joining us. And um, and the last uh, four tips she we were talking before Nikki showed up. We were talking about exfoliating. I think she went the same thing. What, what goes on with your face is the same thing that you want to do to keep a regimen for um, exfoliating your body. The only thing with the rest of your body, you want to do it uh, two to three times a week. And you can use a loofah. Unfortunately, I forgot the loofah that I have, but I'll show you a picture in the in the bottom section. A loofah is a natural. Um, it's an, it's a natural plant, I guess you want to call it, or it's, it looks like a sponge, but it's really, it looks rough when you, you buy it at the store, but once you wet it, it's, it's very soft and it exfoliates your skin. You can also use a, um, salt scrub or a, uh, brown sugar scrub. So with the brown, I, I encourage you to use the brown sugar scrub for your body and use a salt scrub for your feet because, you know, we're a little bit rough on our feet, so it needs a little bit more, um, of a course uh, um, exfoliate, exfoliation experience. So I recommend to do that Every, anywhere else in your body. I highly recommend for you to use a brown sugar scrub. The brown sugar scrub, what it does, it, um, it's gentle on the skin, but it still exfoliates the body. And, and really when you're exfoliating, just like Nikki said, you're just um, removing the, the dead skin cells in your body. And also you're promoting circulation. So that's also good as well. So the three things that I highly recommend for um, exfoliating your skin is a loofah. I'll show you a picture below. Uh, brown sugar, I recommend that, especially for sensitive skin, and, um, and a salt scrub. But I do recommend a salt scrub to be for your feet. So you can, give, you know, so you can um, smooth the edges around um, the, the, the wear and tear that you give on your feet. So always take care of, of your feet as well. So that's what you want to do. Um, and exfoliation, let me make, make sure it rejuvenates your body. It detoxes your body. And it, help, it helps moisturize your skin. Um, I personally offer a, uh, I, I offer scrubs and I also, also offer them with essential oils. I offer it with eucalyptus lemongrass, which is really good. Um, I also offer it with um, tea tree and peppermint. So you can also visit my website to do that. But again, just like Nikki said, I, I, would, I prefer to educate you. So when you're looking for exfoliation, um, treatment. Those are the three that I highly recommend. Um, the last, the fourth one is moisture. You want to moisturize your skin. And I brought some of my products here so that I can show you what you should be looking for. During the winter seasons, I highly recommend you to get a body butter. Body butters is just what it says. It, it's, it's the intention of the butter, of the lotion, of the cream is to melt in your hands. And I literally just grabbed this and it melted in my hands. So I'm going to show you the relief one. Oh, let me get that one. The relief body butter and this relief body butter. Mind you, it's been in my in my um, bag, but I'm gonna put just a little bit. You see how much I'm putting on right now? Y'all see? I hope you can see that. You see that? I'm just gonna put that much and it covers my entire hands. And that's what I love about the body butters um, that God gave me the um, the vision to create. So with the body butters, what you want to do is always, um, especially during the winter and fall seasons, look for shea butters. Shea, shea butter is, is extremely nourishing and um, it also um, 
it moisturizes your skin and it also puts a um, I call it a protective shield over especially for um, my chicas who um, who are up in the northern areas and the wind and the snow is blowing and, and all that you want to protect yourself from that so um, that's what the what the shea butter does especially people who have sensitive skin or challenged with eczema and psoriasis and sometimes your skin breaks um, when you have a, a breakout so this is one of the best things to use is shea butter um, try to get organic shea butter and unrefined organic shea butter because it's in, it's in its purest form and it does what it's supposed to do and because it's God created, it your your body, your temple know, will know exactly what to do with it. You see, so I covered both of my hands and you could tell the moisture on it and it'll soon will soak it in. Um, another thing that I want you to focus on if, if jojoba of shea butter is too um, thick for you but you want some oils, try natural oils like vitamin, um, like a jojoba oil. You can try um, some vitamin E as, as well. Vitamin E oil is very, very good. It's very good for um, uh, collagen production, um, for elasticity in your skin, for healing your skin if you have any wounds. So it's really good. Um, also, some uh, another one that people tend to uh, use but they don't know the, the healing properties of it is coconut oil. Coconut oil ha is an antibacterial and an antimicrobial as well. So um, you can use coconut oil, coconut oil as well. I highly encourage you to use organic and unrefined again because of its healing properties and it's in its purest form. And last but not least, you know I couldn't leave without talking to you about um, making sure that what you're also putting inside your body is also doing the same effects of what you're putting outside your body. We want to restore our bodies from the inside out. So I'm going to give you some uh, a couple of foods that you can eat during the winter season, winter and fall season, to promote healthy glowing skin. The first one that I want to talk about is avocados. When I tell you I love me some avocados, Lord, I love me some avocados. And avocado or um, even avocado oil. Hey, Kiawana, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. So um, if you have avocado oil, that's even good as well. Remember we talked about uh, moisturizers. It keeps your, your skin moisturized. Your skin knows exactly what to do with it. So you can also eat avocado or cook with avocado oil and it's super super uh, nourishing it's it's like laden with nourishing and uh, nutrients in it um, it has healthy fats it's good for heart health um, it's good for face mask I remember growing up my grandmother would do a, um, a hair mask and she would put it in my hair um, when you're doing the hair mask though um, I know we're talking about skin but this is just a tip um, when you're doing a hair mask, um, use it when it's almost it, it's at its ripest stage. You want to use the avocado oil and you leave it in your hair for about a good hour. Even you could use a heat treatment to it. And I'm telling you, man, Pocahontas ain't got nothing on you after you put that avocado oil um, hair mask in your hair. Because it'll leave such a beautiful glow to your, to your hair, um, a shine, and it's super nourishing to your hair and to your scalp. And um, and last but not, uh, what we talked we talked about um, avocados. Um, she talked about green tea. Isn't that amazing that she has that in her skincare line? So green tea is also very good. It's also good for uh, it promotes digestion. And remember, your immune system is um, is seventy to eighty percent of is, is in your stomach, is in your gut. So you want to do that. Um, it also has um, a lot of anti-inflammatory and antioxidants in there. So if you're if you're eating, um, if you're eating or drinking, I'm sorry, if you're drinking uh, green tea, it's really really good for your uh, for you. And it also um, promotes um, the healing of damaged skin. I just I learned that just recently. It, it promotes the healing of damaged skin. Um, green tea. Another one that I didn't know that um, it's really good for skin. It's um, it's because it has a uh, lycopene in it. It has a uh, high quantities of a lycopene is brown rice, and um, lycopene is a phytonutrient. Um, it's P H Y T O nutrient, but I consider it a phytonutrient. It fights in this nutrients that you put into your body, and it fights. Um, it's an antioxidant. It it, uh, it fights those free radicals in your body that tries to promote sickness. So it's really good. Lycopene is a really good. You can also find that in tomatoes. Um, but if you're going to eat tomatoes, I highly encourage you to get them organic because of the skin and the herbicides and pesticides. You want to remove that with organic um, uh, tomatoes. You won't have to be challenged with that. 
Um, and so it also um, solves, it promotes anti-aging. And um, last but not least, um, carrots. Carrots is loaded with vitamin C. Vitamin C promotes um, collagen production, which promotes elasticity. And it also, um, it also has vitamin A, so it prevents, it's a wrinkle prevention. So definitely those, um, let's do a quick recap of what we covered today. We talked about hydrating, that hydrating is very good. It promotes, um, it prevents um, winter dehydration and it promotes um, healthy glowing skin. We also um, had the wonderful Nikki Russian come in and she talked about having a, um, a facial skincare regimen and she talked about um, what should we look for when we're going to the store and she shared 180 essentials with us thank you nikki again and we also talked about exfoliating how it um it removes exfoliation is a two process um it has a two it does two jobs in one it removes the dead skin cells and it also prom promotes healthy circulation in our bodies and it's really good and it's um it detoxes our body and it also rejuvenates our skin then we we talked about um having moisture why it's so important especially during the winter thank you edwina thank you edwina is saying that this has been good thank you that it has been informative one of the things that i want you to leave with in any of the any of the broadcasts that we have is to be empowered with knowledge um, um nikki said oh yes i will say that in a minute let me recap real quick so the moisture um make sure that you find you know um body butters body butters is especially uh good for fall and winter season find them to have um uh, shea butter and if it's shea butter organic unrefined coconut oils jojoba oil or jojoba oil some people call it that vitamin e oil and um and shameless plug you can find all of that in my body butters the body butter, especially the relief line this this one is especially for dry and sensitive skin um this also has neem oil in black castor oil it has um tea tree and lavender oil so lavender oil a lot of people tend to forget that is a healing agent just like a tea tree um, tea tree oil is as well and um, and you want to um, make sure that you're moisturizing your skin those are natural skin moisturizers um, one thing I love about shea butter it protects your skin and last but not least you last but not least eat right for a healthy skin during the winter season we talked about avocado oil how it has healthy fats and it also gives you natural glowing skin we also talked about um, green tea um, lycopene on um, um, brown rice and also um, carrots is loaded with vitamin C so um, Thank you, Nikki. Nikki says, excellent body butter. So if this has blessed you, by all means, please share it with a chica or a gentleman. It's not gender specific. And um, help promote um, loving on our skin. We tend to forget about our skin. It's the largest organ in our bodies. And we have to, you know, this is the only, you know, this is the one that really shows, you know, throughout the years. So just like we want to um, restore from within, we have to also consider um, restoring our outside of our bodies um, with putting or putting on or ingesting um, God created products so I love y'all to life if you want to be part of our of my community um, restoration movement please join us in our FB group rest hashtag restoration move, movement you can find us in the search um, bar you can also sign for our weekly newsletter thank you sis yes you can see it um, Edwina has posted if you want to be part of our, our newsletter our community our restoration girlfriends please visit us at www.restorationfromwithin.com www.restorationfromwithin.com and register and once you register for our newsletter you will get a free a complimentary hey Isaac thanks for coming back again and watching with us you will receive a um, free 10, uh, 10 Steps to Renew and Restore Manifesto. So thank you for joining us again. Um, go into the section where we had, um, I believe if you want to learn more about the um, facial skincare regimen for um, Nikki Rushing, uh, 180 Essentials, go to www.180essentials.com. I love y'all to life and I look forward to seeing y'all um, not this upcoming Thursday because I'll be traveling and making juices and making body butters, but the following Thursday. So thank you so much for showing up and thank you for your support and your love. I love y'all to life. Bye.